Hello, uh, I'm Zhi Yiguo from Red Hat, and I'm a senior quality engineer that focuses on testing the uh, graphic virtualizations uh, that mainly works with uh, Intel and NVIDIA. And, uh, and, and my uh, responsibility is testing these solutions uh, inside the Red Hat. Uh, so uh, yeah. So talk. So today's uh, my topic is to introduce a uh, modern work desktop uh, that's running on the TLM infrastructure. Yeah. So I think uh, my colleagues have mentioned that the open source communities and uh, the open source virtualization software are uh, uh, in, the, in the open source uh, environment. So now, uh, but uh, I think uh, uh, seems they don't mention that the components that on the uh, on the open source community. So the virtualization uh, the virtualization infrastructure that built on the KVM basically includes four components. The first one is the KVM. That is a kernel based virtual machine that uh, can provide uh, four virtualization solutions for the Linux. And uh, I think this is the most popular solution for a uh, lot of cloud providers. And uh, the second, and uh, the second one is the QEMU. Uh, that's uh, the the QEMU consists of, of uh, a lot of emulated devices that can provide a lot of functions like the memory, the virtual CPU, and the others. So. Uh, so the QEM and the QEMU actually is uh, uh, is not user friendly. That means uh, mainly focus on that means mainly oriented to the developers. So there are two layer uh, there are two layers that called the levers and the work managers that can optimize the user uh, the user experience that lets you to write a simple command that is human readable. And also from the GUI that you can build, uh, you can build something that's on the virtualizations. Oh, actually, they are all the open source. All right. So talk, so talk about the, so talk about the virtual desktops. So we might need to know the, the enterprise users, uh, user cases. Uh, that's. Uh, during uh, during our testings and the invest during our investigations uh, from the customers, so the virtual desktop user cases from the customers uh, mainly have this effect. Uh, their uh, first uh, their desktops are uh, not uh, other are not the local one, so they always put their desktops inside the data centers, and uh, for the, for the IT companies. They won't give you uh, very powerful machines. That they just give you uh, virtual machines that can provide the desktop experience to you and uh, just give you a very simple, very simple device uh, that is lower cost. That so they can reduce their they can they can bring a good cost savings. And uh, for a that's for a desktop. So if you want to use them. Uh, so you you need the audio video. I think most people, most of the users will want the video functions and the audio functions. That uh, if you run some software inside, you use a simple. Use a, uh, if you want to use a use an example. If you want to use your office inside your virtual machine. So uh, if something is wrong, then it will give you a loud. But uh, if the, your your desktop your work desktop doesn't have a uh, audio output, or uh, so the, you cannot hear, uh, you cannot notice this, you, you cannot notice these changes. So this may be this may bring you a bad experience. So we must so we want uh, for the functions of the desktops for the virtual machine like we uh, like we did for, for uh, local machines and. Uh, for a use for a enterprise users, you may have a lot of video conferences. So the virtual machine uh, don't, uh, won't provide you uh, uh, conference cameras. 
So you need to use your you, you need to use a USB cameras that can pass through to the cloud, then you can view the conference content and the voice from that virtual machines. And the last one is the graphic capabilities. So a lot of people so a lot of people may run in their heavy uh, heavy computing uh, software. So these software uh, when they use some uh, graphic API uh, like the DirectX or the uh, OpenGL. So uh, the so uh, for pro 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 productive virtual machine, uh, a productive what that all should provide you these capabilities. So, so let's see the fully open source solutions uh, already built in the um, KVM. So this is called this is you know, this is called the SPACE project. So from these pictures, so you can see that. Uh, there, are, there are typically three computers on this uh, screenshot. The first one is your local machines, that may be a uh, Linux system or a Windows system. And uh, there are two computers actually connected to your workspace. Uh, one could be uh, one could be a real, one could be a Linux uh, um, virtual, virtual machine, and another could be a Windows virtual machine. So uh, the space project uh, is, is started by the Red Hat. Uh, that is uh, that we need the business from the enterprise users, and these users are mainly want the what desktop for their daily for their daily need. So we'll talk about uh, this space project. Uh, it provides a lot of functions that uh, uh, business people uh, really want to use. Uh, the first one, <coughs> the first one is that uh, this is a uh, client server uh, mode, and uh, you can so when you travel to another country, you may all, you may only bring your laptop, a small laptop or a tablet with you. That uh, but uh, you can work with your <coughs> you can work with your workspace uh, in the cloud space, and uh, the second uh, and the second one is that. Uh, a lot of the people want uh, their virtual desktop to like the local machines. So the space project provides a lot of uh, Linux algorithm that can help you to make this possible. So, <coughs> so from the video, so the video streaming and the desktop content that is a heavy graphic, uh, he uh, heavy graphic uh, data that. Uh, the, that's, uh, if we transfer the raw data to the clients, then we may cause a lot of bandwidth or a lot of re uh, compute resource. So with the video streaming and the, with the compression to these video streamings and the image resource, so that we can uh, we can reduce the bandwidth, we can reduce the network uses and uh, provide the same qualities. Uh, and transfer the raw data to your <coughs> clients. And uh, for the audio, for the audio playback and the capture is also uh, is also possible with the uh, space uh, with the space uh, projects that uh, your uh, you don't you, you won't worry about the voice uh, that's in the data centers. That's the space project. You have to transfer the transfer transfer the voice. All the alarms of the applications to your to your clients and your <coughs> and they can also transfer the, the voice from from your Mac phone and the other uh, audio uh, audio uh, input devices to the data centers. Uh, so for the business for, for the business people, so uh, the space for, uh, there are two water ports that can let you to connect your USB devices, like the, uh, like the cameras and, the, and the some smart card or the USB disk to the watch machines to help you to keep your, to keep your data uh, in a permanent uh, workspace that you can access from everywhere. And uh, for, uh, for the performance, uh, the space projects that take advantage of the emulated devices that build in the QEMU layer, QEMU applications. 
uh, that with uh, highly optimized uh, QXL uh, GPU devices that, uh, and uh, highly optimized uh, uh, with uh, gas drivers. So uh, this three, uh, the SPICE project, the Q QEMU and the gas drivers, three components tied together can provide you the uh, very, uh, a very smooth experience. So for the for the water to for the water desktops, and with the Lexi Spice uh, project, uh, it is very uh, it's very easy for you to uh, create a simple desktop uh, with a CRI with a CRI command. Uh, that from this uh, pictures uh, you can see uh, uh, besides the Lexi compute resources like the CPU and the memory and the, and the disk. So you can just use a very simple command uh, that's called the graphics and video to let your uh, virtual machines to use the SPICE project and the QXL devices for a best uh, 2D to, for a best 2D experience. Uh, yeah, for this for these pictures, I I capture this I capture this screenshot and verify the. Uh, this command from our real system, uh, but uh, our real system, but the Adora system is also a free and open source to OS that maintained by our companies. That they can also you can also move the uh, same, uh, you can also move the same operations to the Adora that create the similar experience. So for so for the current uh, so for the current uh, water desktop uh, user cases, I think uh, because of the the Windows uh, VMs and the uh, real VMs are become more uh, more become more uh, modern and uh, they are they are big, they are, and they will also they will heavily use the three D functions of the uh, to provide users the best experience, uh, but. Uh, does this, uh, but does this best can still call, be qualified to the 3D workload? Uh, from my test, uh, but actually I think it's not. From my daily testings, the 3D workloads, uh, if we only use the uh, emulated devices created from the open source, from the Lego Lexi open source uh, uh, communities. Uh, the uh, the 3D workloads uh, will cost. Uh, there are it's very bad performance for the 3D workloads and the experience. Uh, like the like the QXR, uh, like the GPU emulated GPU device can only provide the software based 3D capability. Uh, that is huge. Each, that will huge eat your CPU uh, use your eat your CPU resources. And uh, if you run, if you run a very, if you run a very large applications that uh, heavily use the three D three D functions, that all your resources uh, will be used for computing the three D, and it will make your system uh, unresponsive. And uh, and uh, for and. Uh, if uh, even if you uh, even if this uh, application use all the resources from the, your virtual machines, it can only provide you a very low uh, frame rate per second. That uh, will make you like you are play some static pictures inside the VM. So uh, so for a typical test, so in my typical testing, if uh, my virtual machines have four. With CPUs and uh, eight gigabyte RAM, uh, that uh, when when we try to run a benchmark, that is very popular. Uh, benchmark called the the heavens. Uh, even with the very low settings, like uh, like uh, very low resolution and very low video quality, it can only provide you about uh, around uh, the seven FPS uh, in the VMs. And uh, your and uh, you can uh, you can also check the the overload into in your VMs. That your CPU overload is uh, over two hundred and forty percent. That uh, that that actually your VM cannot respond any interactions 
a video and uh, it all, uh, all the resources has to be has been edited by the 3D application. So for uh, <coughs> so the so the open source community and the current upstream want a, a hardware based uh, desktops. Uh, that's uh, and with the hardware based, based desktops, uh, that we can upload the graphic uh, intensive workload to the CPU. Uh, that is a very popular idea for uh, for I think a lot of all the users, uh, other than the enterprise users. So uh, the the only the only for, uh, open source. The uh, technology is offered by the KVM and the uh, open <coughs> and the Q, QEMU uh, community is that the GVCG that's uh, from the Intel. Uh, that uh, with uh, with uh, if you want to use this uh, this with uh, hardware based uh, hardware based uh, accelerations uh, to your uh, graphic uh, to your graphic upload to your graphic uh, workload. So when you want to enable this, uh, enable this acceleration in your desktop, uh, you will need uh, you will need a not very old GPU that can provide that can provide uh, some basic uh, hardware needs for this uh, for this technology, and uh, because uh, because uh, it's, uh, you are using a uh, virtual machines uh, that. Uh, some of the, some of the workload that might be transferred to the host that to uh, let you to control the GPU devices on the host. So you need some kernel modules. So you need some kernel modules that helps you to uh, to transfer the workload from the VMs to the host, and uh, then uh, and then uh, back this and then transfer and back this data uh, to the VMs. That uh, and you and uh, you you also need to deliver these functions from your <coughs> host. Uh, that's because that uh, if you use this, if you use this, uh, if you use the GPU virtualization, uh, that means that uh, some of the work, some of the host workload, some of the host graphic workload uh, may be interrupted by the virtualization GPU workload. Yeah, the the Intel uh, the Intel GPU uh, the Intel GPU virtualizations uh, that is that is uh, that is uh, for GPU virtualization that's because uh, that uh, is also uh, emulated GPU devices. Uh, but uh, this this uh, GPU emulated GPU devices are controlled are controlled by the host uh, Intel GPU device. That the host GPU devices can. Help to compute the graphic workload uh, in the host and uh, try to uh, and try to uh, move it, try to move the band to the <coughs> try to move the band to the VM. Uh, if you use a uh, you you use an emulated only solutions, that uh, all your workload will go to the host uh, host VCPU <coughs> and uh, then. Uh, then, uh, and then CPU, uh, CPU is uh, not good at, is not uh, good enough to calculate the graphic computation, the graphic workload. And then, uh, then you don't get a very good performance. You won't get a good performance against the 3D workload. Uh, so compute, uh, so compute the the so compute the. Uh, host to to uh, to use the GPU for the virtualization is very easy. So you just uh, you can just put a very simple command uh, that uh, you can just use a very simple command that can that will create a virtual GPU a virtual Intel GPU devices uh, and uh, then it can it and uh, then you can just put this virtual GPU devices in the in the reverse in the reverse. Uh, in the deep world, uh, XML, uh, for, uh, uh, XML uh, VM, uh, VM descriptors. Then, uh, then when you start this with virtual machines, uh, then you will get a VM that has that you, you will get a VM that with uh, hardware accelerated GPU devices. So, uh, 
so uh, so I also measure so I also measure the three D performance inside the virtual machines that with the Intel GPU devices. Uh, that the you know, when you pass this GPU devices to the v, to the VM, so from from this virtual machine, uh, you can see that uh, you can you you will you already take advantage of the latest uh, in, uh, uh, latest uh, open uh, graphic stack that's developed by the Intel companies uh, that it can provide a, a lot of uh, very you can they can provide you the latest uh, OpenGL capabilities like the Open <coughs> like the OpenGL 4.5 or 6 and uh, once and once the graphic stack uh, that's the uh, has uh, has some uh, has some new features. Then they, uh, uh, they will also reflect to you, they will also reflect it to your VM. And uh, I also uh, try the same configuration, uh, try the same benchmark uh, with the same configurations inside these VMs. So you can, so uh, I, I think you know that uh, when you use the uh, emulated uh, video devices for the benchmark, you can only get the 7 FPS. Uh, for uh, for this uh, for this testing, but when you try, but when you switch to uh, uh, Intel GPU device, then you uh, this performance will increase uh, will, will increase very large. So you, from here you can see that I can measure I can measure for uh, 58 uh, <coughs> FPS for running these benchmarks. Uh, that's uh, actually uh, with uh, with this test results. Uh, <coughs> Uh, you can, I think, uh, when you try to run some business applications uh, like uh, as, like uh, CAD with very uh, with uh, simple workloads or the uh, or the others like the 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 office uh, office uh, workloads that enable the uh, the pre uh, the premium uh, experience. That you can get, you can get a very good experience. That the you, the the module written by the software is very uh, is very interactive, is interactive, and uh, the experience the UI uh, the UI uh, the the, uh, the UI uh, interaction is also very smooth. And uh, uh, and uh, for the CPU workload, and it's already reduced. Uh, it, it, it's also reduced to uh, 90 percent. That uh, for a VM system that have four uh, CPU devices and uh, for uh, have four uh, CPU devices, that you can you still get enough uh, CPU power to uh, process the uh, other tasks that, that are sensitive for that are most sensitive to the CPU devices uh, to CPU. Uh, CPU workload. Oh, so this is so this is my last page. Uh, this is the last page of my slide. So this is uh, future technologies uh, for the desktops that I think will soon, uh, that will land very soon in the open source in the open source community. Uh, the first one is that the what uh, the what GR. Uh, 3D, uh, 3D GPU devices. That with this uh, 3D that this is also an emulated uh, GPU devices built in the QEMU uh, applications. But the difference between the Q, uh, let's say QXL devices and the, this 3D GPU is that uh, uh, this 3D GPU devices can also offload the workload from uh, the 3D workload from the VM. Into the uh, into the host uh, GPU devices, and uh, it it won't uh, it won't care uh, and uh, any any uh, any GPU devices from different vendors uh, can also work uh, can also work with this open source uh, project. Uh, that uh, you you don't uh, you won't uh, you don't need to try your uh, solution to Intel or Nvidia or uh, to only try the uh, to only try your solution. Your desktop solution to uh, the NVIDIA or the AMD or the Intel, so you can mix all, all of them. Uh, and uh, and uh, another very exciting 
Uh, another very exciting uh, technology is that uh, you, I think uh, uh, that maybe some people know that the Intel has already released their, uh, their discrete GPU devices for the data centers. Uh, that's, uh, that, that, and that has a very, that has a bit, that, that, that uh, its performance uh, acts like a beast. Uh, and uh, the open source uh, and the Intel uh, GPU acceleration will also take advantage of this discrete GPU devices that it can provide you more, <coughs> it can, can provide all the graphic performance to your washing machines. Uh, or we can, or we, you can share this, uh, you can sh share this GPU devices uh, to uh, to more users that uh, without uh, that with uh, without uh, that without it the interrupt there are three D work there are three D daily uh, daily usage. So yeah. So anyone has a question? Yeah, it's transferred from the internet. Like a tablet Yeah, that uh, that's because uh, this, uh, that's because that's the <coughs> the three uh, D workloads and the and the web and the desktop streamings uh, are kind of, uh, uh, and they are so they, they are currently two modules. That's because that's uh, when you run your workload, when you run your three D workload inside the web inside the VMs with the uh, Intel GPU, that this GPU will re reflect the performance. That's uh, 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 that's very uh, like uh, like some like the uh, like the uh, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's just like the workflow in the in the native Intel GPU devices. Uh, but uh, but uh, definitely you need another application. You, you need the space to transfer your image, to transfer your uh, your uh, your desktop image to your clients. Uh, that's uh, this uh, this uh, this two workloads is different. So cur currently, that uh, when you uh, when you have a, a low, lower bandwidth, the, the lower bandwidth, you can see you can you, you can have a lower network bandwidth. So when you see this uh, content from your from your laptop or your clients, you will see some so see some corruptions or some latencies. Uh, that is because that is caused by that the space cannot cannot capture the that's because of the space cannot handle the network very well. Uh, but you can but you can still see that the FPS within this VMs is very high. Yeah, but uh, so for the next solution is that we also need uh, we also need a software that can help to uh, to capture the to capture the desktop to the image that and uh, trans and uh, put this image to the GPU devices and do the GPUs uh, encode encode engine to encode them to some H uh, H two uh, six H two six four or H two uh, six five. Stream and uh, that they best have to send these video streams to your in the client. Then, then you will then you will get a, then you will get a similar experience like the you you will get a same experience like the, the graphic content inside the VM and like uh, and the and the, the behaviors you observe from your client. Yeah, I think uh, because I'm also testing the solutions from NVIDIA and uh, as well as Intel, so if you want, if you have questions regarding the, the graphic test, the graphic, uh, the graphic components of, of the testing uh, with this part, with these vendors, uh, you can also, uh, we can also talk offline. Yeah. Thank you. Okay.
Thank you, thank you uh, from your uh, for 